good morning students hope you are fit and fine okay you are enjoying okay this uh, third chapter i have already sent to you uh, please check it out huh? those who didn't check please check okay and one thing i would like to say that uh, maybe you have an exam of uh, pre mid term uh, in this month okay in the last so there will be two chapter would be asked so this chapter only we will revise huh? and uh, from next week we will start revision of our first and second chapter isn't it okay so let us start those who did understand uh, what is network and multimedia so i would like to explain first network huh? meaning of network and what is meaning of multimedia so what is network network is a collection of computers mainframes network devices peripheral peripheral means uh, uh, what mouse keyboard eh, other um, speaker these are peripheral or other devices connected to one another or allow the sharing of data okay the best example or ex excellent example of network is the internet which connects millions of people all over the world clear okay next is what is multimedia multimedia is content that uses a combination of different content forms such as text audio video etc whatever text audio or still images animation video and interactivity are combined together the result is multimedia for example we are using multimedia you are at your home and i am at my place we are still we are exchanging some photographs some sound some movies eh? okay so this is called all together when all together join that is multimedia clear okay next is lan so there are different types of network we will study one by one what is lan lan stand for local area network okay it covers a small area of operation generally within premises or between closely placed group of building computer can be connected through wires or to forms of network okay lands vary considerably in length or area covered and in the number devices connected and supported simple example like you have we have a school examination or you have a colony or you have a flat okay so we can adopt a network like local either we can connect with wire or with wi-fi clear so this is network this is called lan local area network <coughs> we have another network that is called wan wan consider wan stand for wide area network okay just as lan LAN has limited area and WAN is slightly uh, far, okay, except regarding the area they cover. WAN generally cover large areas and may use different combination of combination means network, okay, because transmission speed and capacity are limited, data transfer rates on such WAN are slower than on most land okay like example we have a uh, previously we have taken example of a school but if uh, in adjacent of the school there is another building so we will give the connection to that building that building is considered as a van but might be possible the speed of that building would be slower than our building okay like you are living in your flat and giving to other flat connection so might be your speed is much better than other building that is called van wide area network clear okay i have al already sent to you now next is this is also network internet internet cover an even larger area than van and lan also known as it is also known as networks of network there is transmission of data between computer networks this is called internetworking what is called internetworking 
the network is between the same country different countries and even continent in this case one need interoperability by introspectivity means that different combination from different companies with different operating system are able to communicate with each other like you are using mobile i am using laptop somebody using desktop and maybe the uh, companies may be different some are using dell some are using volvo some are using internet so there are different types of computers and network and internets are using so internet is compatibility or interoperability isn't it so internet is widely used all over the world including all the kids so this is all about like we are using internet you are in your at your place i am in my place okay but we are exchanging information so this is the facilities of this network this is called internet next is intranet an intranet is between different networks intranet is a network between one own organization to connect different computer with different operating system in many language in many large organization this will be a wide area network such a network called intranet suppose i have given example of a school and the adjacent building okay our school adopting different intranet and the adjacent building adopting different intranet okay they have confined to their own building okay they are not sharing the information to the adjacent country adjacent building this is called internet i hope you understand next is email email you people very well know about uh, it stand for electronic mail it is a way of sending and receiving messages clear okay short form of email is email transmission of message over communication network you may use the existing network to send message from one computer to another the network could be lan wan internet and air uh, internet okay in recent year the use of email has increased many times by some estimate there are now 25 million email user sending 15 million message per year okay another network we have we will discuss in the next class till then be happy okay thank you very much well, well done